I realized I was obsessed with drawing when in school I would get bored in class and I would start doodling in my notebooks. My name is Laura Kwok and I'm an artist, illustrator and muralist. A muralist is someone who paints on large walls in the city and uh, transforms public spaces. You are allowed to paint on walls, but you do have to get the permission of the person who owns the building. Today we're going to be drawing a character called the Sad Sunflower. When I was drawing Sad Sunflower, to be honest, I was a little bit sad at that time too. But once I finished the drawing, I felt proud of myself for getting through those emotions and I was super happy with the drawing. All right, let's get started with the drawing portion. Remember, not all characters have to be drawn in a happy way. The benefits of drawing different emotions is that you can get those feelings out on paper and ride with them so that you can kind of ease yourself through them and afterwards it might help you feel better. First, draw a large round oval for his head and two half circles for his eyes. He's going to have a wide, gaping mouth, which is just another large oval. His mouth is open wide because he's crying loud and showing all his emotions to the world. It's going to have lots of jagged teeth, which are just little triangles. Next, color in his mouth so it looks like a deep, dark cave. Really fill it in so it's nice and pitch black. Cool, right? Good job. Now add some tiny sunflower seed freckles on the sides of his cheeks. Next, start at any point on his head and start drawing large curvy petals around his entire head. Remember, not all petals are shaped the same, so the lines can be wavy and the petals can be smaller or bigger. Just go with the flow. Now for the body, it's going to be a smooth U shape. You can make the sad sunflower's body as big or small as you want. You're doing really great. We're going to draw some leaves near his body to be his wild little arms. I've decided that my sunflower is going to have three arms, but yours can have more. I'm going to draw some lines right in the middle of the leaves. Next, attach the arms to the body with little vines and draw two more little vines for the legs. At the ends of his legs, I'm going to draw little roots branching out. The next step is adding a little friend for the sad sunflower. With a long stem, and some sharp, tiny petals. I'm going to draw a little flower bulb. It's a little flower bulb of hope. Remember to add a nice little happy face. It's a light bulb. Her little face says, things are going to be okay. Let's give her some little leaves for arms. Now we're almost at the end and about to add some final touches. I like to use lots of lines to add detail to my drawings. Sometimes I shade some areas in black to really make it pop. I'm going to add lots of lines to the leaves so that it's really, really detailed. Keep on adding those lines. You're doing really, really great. I think this leaf is going to have some holes. Because why not? Now for the petals, I'm going to add some vertical lines at the bottom and the tips to add depth to the shapes. 
This really makes the petals pop. Keep going all around the side on every single petal. You can draw two lines or three lines or even four. And there you have it, the sad sunflower with his trusty flower bud. Now the rest is up to your imagination. You could draw a whole field of sunflowers with different emotions, a happy one, an angry one, a calm one, or you could draw all different kinds of flower friends. There are so many amazing flowers in the world. Thank you so much for drawing along with me. I appreciate it so much and I had lots of fun and I hope you did too.